Hello, Anywhere Fitness with April. I'm so excited to bring you to Red's Meadow. So this is on the eastern part of the town of Mammoth Lakes. So I'm by Red's Meadow. There's Rainbow Falls and Devil's Post Pile right there. And this is where we used to come camping with our little ones so long ago. And just coming back here just brings such great memories. I have a picture of my girls standing right out there. So enjoy this background. You have the stream off to this right side and birds chirping. So we are going to work full body today. It's gonna to be fun. We're gonna get started. I have one heavy weight. Remember when I come out on different adventures, I usually kind of just bring one with me. Sometimes I'll bring two lights, but I have my, I have one heavy, which is my 10 pound. Feel free to go heavier than that. Um, and then have an extra weight handy if you need to switch into it. Remember rest is always a great option. We're gonna be doing a lot of lunges today, a lot of squatting today. How does that sound? We get that lower body, we're gonna incorporate a lot of core. And I have my log right here, which I can come down. I can work into some plank. So if you have your mat available, we can certainly come down and do some plank work. All right, so I'm gonna get you warmed up right here. Take those arms up just slightly. And we're just gonna rotate. Get that spiraling effect, that rib cage spiraling around that spine. Elbows are high, warming up those shoulders, and let's start extending. There we go. Pulling those abs in tight, and those shoulders drop down, even though the arms are elevated, make sure the shoulders aren't up towards your ears. All right, now we're gonna go up right here. So I just saw the sun coming up and over the mountain. It was so beautiful. Now you get to be here with me, ham curls. And now that the sun's out, it's nice and warm. So my pants probably should be shorts right now. <laughs> it is beautiful today. <sighs> Nothing too hot. Just perfect Sierra weather. Give me eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now keep the arms high, pull the knees right here. Now round those backs just a bit, tuck under. There it is. Pull those abs in. So we're tent camping. We found this beautiful campsite that has a meadow. So we have our tent turned around and when we opened up that screen this morning, we could see the meadow. It was beautiful. Three, four, three, two. Now arms out, give me a squat, hinge back, up and under. Remember we wanna unload the back, coming nice and tall, shoulders over hips, hips under shoulders. Yeah, and breath out, good. Now take that hand to the inside, bring it up, there we go. Breath in, breath out. Now I think the elevation here it's not quite 8,000 feet. I think it's about 77. So you might hear me breathing a little heavier than normal. Here's four and three and two and one. Bring it up. Take those hands behind your hips. Open the chest, drop the shoulders down. And then take those arms out front hips under around the backs. So I'm happy that you want to join me for this full body workout. We're going to be working in minute segments. Open those arms so you have duration of 60 seconds and release. Left leg's going to come forward. Hinge back and lengthen that arm. Try not to round the back. Shoulder blades pull toward each other. Yeah. And come up and change legs. And come here, hands on the thighs, chins in, roll it up nice and slow. Let's do that one more time. Hinge back, chins out, 
chins in, heads down, upper back separating, shoulders coming to ears, back and down. All right, grab your one heavy. So we're gonna start out with a lunge series. What we're gonna do in the lunge is you're gonna hold that weight just like this. So one hand on each end. We're gonna keep the weight here right at collarbone, okay? So tucked under the chin. Try not to have it drop down. Let's keep it elevated so we can really work on core. We're gonna step out into a left lateral lunge. You're gonna lift your knee, overhead press, come in and then out. You're gonna go back up knee and we're gonna go outer thigh. Are you ready? Here we go, step out, give me a knee, overhead press, and outer thigh. Give me a knee. So we're focusing on dropping back and down, outer thigh. So lots of core when we go outer thigh, outer glute obliques, lateral line work. <sighs> Exhale on your lifts. Now notice my timing. I try to spend more time at the bottom, get there, then lift, stay there, then lift. You've already done 30 seconds. Feel that warmth through those obliques. Think of those abdominals, every lift. Drop it in. Remember, take your time at the bottom. Time for one more. And hold it here. Shake it out. All right, 15 seconds. Just kind of focus. Get that form ready for the other side. Weight up. Ready to take it in. It'll be that right leg. Knee overhead press. Here we go. Outer thigh. And knee. Take your time. Land with the heel. Sit back, outer thigh, sorry. Knee, outer thigh. Knee, and outer thigh. Good, pull it up. Send it out. Feel the length of those arms when you go up. Past your 30 second mark. Up. Look how vertical you get. Nice and tall. Timing so important. Last one up. Last one out. And come up. Now, to drop that weight, release here. Now, we're going to turn that weight vertical. We're going to go down into a squat. We're going to raise at the bottom. And we're going to come up and rotate to that left side. Here we go. Down, raise. And to that left. Now you're gonna to go to the right. Hold the bottom, forward raise, then rotate. Now on the rotation, lift your heel and pivot on the ball of your foot. Right heel up, and in. Yeah, here we go. Now think of your glutes, right glute tight. Core work, shoulder work. Getting deep into those inner thighs at the bottom. Woo! <sighs> Sit back. Lengthen. And rotate. Sit back. Lengthen. And rotate. <sighs> One more each side. Yeah? Here we go. Work it. And bring it to center. Shake it out here. Well done. All right. Now we're gonna hold the weight with just the right hand. You're gonna go into a lateral lunge. You're gonna do a wide row, it looks like this. Then you're gonna come up, upright row. So it's basically the same move. But in that forward position, it looks like this. 
up tall we look like this are you ready left leg going down and hold row and lift upright row so you have bent over upright so lots of core incorporating shoulders lats think of that upper back pulling that right shoulder blade into spine right here pull it good now notice you're holding the bottom for a full three counts getting workload in that left leg left glute for those inner thighs yes non-stop fun come on you got 15 seconds <clears throat> Breath out. You got this. One more time down. One more time up. And wait to the other side. Shake it out. All right. Got 15 seconds. This kind of gets that mindset ready for the other side. Quick breath catcher. Right side, down hold. Raise. Up, raise down hold sink into the right heel you should be able to wiggle your toes in your shoes making sure the weight's not forward in the foot yes long arm tall chest find that focus on those ups You are doing it. You have 15 seconds left. So you're almost there. Just a couple more. Here we go, down hold. Sink in. Last one. Down bottom row. Up row. And relax. Oh yes. Now, take the weight into that right hand. Now, your left leg it's going to stay forward. Your right leg is going to come back. So you're going to go into a rear lunge. So remember rear lunge, you step big, you drop the back knee, and we come up. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to go down, you're going to come up with the knee, you're going to go down, now you're going to go back with the curl. Down knee, down curl, are you ready? Here we go. Back, oops, back knee, now curl. Now as you do the curl, do biceps. Left arm can come out, knee, biceps. Knee, biceps. Knee, and we're curling. So get that knee, and curl sorry about that knee and curl and knee and curl get low each time knee drop curl drop knee drop curl drop almost there this one's tough yeah knee drop and curl one more knee one more curl. Ah. Weight to the left hand. Wow. That right arm's gonna come out. We're gonna go back. Take it to lunge, knee. Lunge, curl. Lunge, knee. Lunge, curl. Down, up, down, up. Woo! Oh, I'm opposite, so sorry. Maybe it's the altitude. Knee, down, curl, down. Knee, down, curl. April, get with it. Woo! 
So good. Down knee, down curl. I think I got it now. <laughs> You're almost there. Last knee, last curl, and shake it out. Let's get some water. Oh, sorry about that. Wow. So good. Grab that weight again. Okay. Then we're going to take our legs wide. Plie. Turn the toes out. Then you're going to drop down. Bring your arms up to the left and down. Notice the hips aren't moving. They're staying low. If you fatigue, lift the hips up for a few and then see if you can drop back down. You can have this at a lower range as well. So instead of going over the shoulders, you can come under. So incorporating shoulders and core. Come on, up and over. Up and over. Breath out. You got it. Up, over and down. Good. Can you get lower? Oh, you're almost there. Abs in. One more. And now come up. Take the weight into your right hand. Now we're going to hinge back. Left hand on the left thigh. Now bring your elbow up. Now that right leg's going to come back and that elbow stays high and we have tricep extension, kick back. So still working that left leg. Upper arm stays high. Come on, send it back, send it back. Perfect, abs in. Make sure the weight stays on that front leg, not transferring it back. Stay light on that right foot. There it is. Now you have 15 seconds. Extend that left arm forward now. Big reach. Feel those triceps? Two more right here. One more. And drop, up and roll. Give me a few of those. All right. Now you're going to go back into plie. Toes turned out. Lower the hips. We're going to go that right side and over and down. High and low. Feel every inch of the range. Those glutes so tight. Notice how you're incorporating full body just in this exercise. Lower and upper. Oh, perfect. Rest if you need to. Work strong. You have less than 30. Coming into 20. Hips low. And low. You can do this. Come on. 10 seconds. Shouldn't be easy. Go heavier. If you're feeling things are not challenging and come up. Wow. So you just listen to your body and know when you need more weight. All right, so that right leg is gonna stay forward. Hinge, left leg's gonna come back. Here we go. Remember that upper arm stays high. Try to keep your chest, shoulders, and hips and toes same direction. So not turning out like this. Shoulders square. Yeah. 
Feel that right heel. Dig in. We did the most amazing hike yesterday in Mammoth. We did a hike all the way to Duck Lake. So we passed Skeleton Lake. 15 seconds. We passed Barney Lake. Then we went up through Duck Pass and then came to, that arm comes out, sorry about that. Came to that Duck Lake and dropped down and roll it up. It was a brilliant sapphire blue. It's the largest lake in the Sierras. It was stunning. There was parts of it that even looked like you were in the Caribbean. It was gorgeous. All right, how you feeling? Are you good? All right. You're gonna take that weight under your chin. Okay. Legs are gonna become a little wider than the hips. Now we're gonna alternate. You're gonna go squat, knee, and as we come up to the knee, we're gonna rotate over that thigh. Okay? Are you ready? Four, three, two, squat knee, rotate left. Then right, get that squat. Squat. Down, rotate, left side. Right side. Think about your elbows. Drawing back, right elbow, left elbow. 30 seconds in. Feel the power in that upper back, those obliques. All right, 10 seconds. You got it. Finish low. One more each side. And march it here. All right. Grab some water. Gotta love that elevation work. Yeah. The best part about our hike yesterday is we got to come back and see all those lakes from above as we were coming down. It was so beautiful. And then we skirted off and saw one more that we hadn't seen called Emerald Lake before we came down. It was beautiful. All right, are you ready for some planking? Yeah? Grab your mat, lay it on down. You can also be on a chair coffee table if that works for you all right so my hands are gonna come down align your shoulders right over wrist all right now hold it here shoulders back now you're gonna take that left leg it's gonna go out and you're gonna do both together then the right both together here we go left together right together you can always just alternate you don't have to do together Ooh, kicking up some dust Woo. feel those obliques all right now the next time you pull you're gonna go in then jack wide knee pull Jack, wide knee, pull, jack. Turn your head to the incoming thigh. Pull, jack, pull, jack. Last one. Now hold it. Shoulders back, chest forward. Tight quads. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now walk in and roll it up. Roll the shoulders. 
perfect. Now, you're gonna keep those legs wide. You're gonna come down to your tabletop, your bench, your floor, you're gonna go even lower and you can do it. Drop down, hold, come back, come forward and put your hands up. Go down, back, forward, hands up. All right, now we're gonna add, you're gonna come up, push all the way to that left side, come down, jump back. Come up, push all the way to the left. Heel comes up, knee comes in. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. You got four more. Let's do it. Last two. And stay up here and march it out. You did it. March it here. Now go wide. Shift leg to leg. Woo! Now come back in. Let those arms flow. Perfect. Recirculating that blood flow. Wide arms flowing. And drop. Bring the arms under. Oh yes. Four more. And three. And two. Hold the arms out. Come forward and back. Woo! Round the back. Open the chest. And hold it forward. Upper back stretch. and open. Drop down, take the hands behind the hips. Open the chest. Feel the chest open, shoulders back, soft knees. Making sure we don't extend that back. And release it. Coming center, take that left arm up and over and hold. Drop that right shoulder. Now picture a big beach ball right here. Take the arm up and over that beach ball out in front. Arm is arced. And come up. All the way up and over the head. By the ear, left shoulder falls. Both legs are bent. Now picture that big beach ball. Come up, up and over it. Bring it up. Hands onto your thighs, drop that right shoulder. And left shoulder. And right. And left. And come center, slowly roll it up, chin in. Perfect, now take those arms all the way up. Let them fall. Now open them here. Woo! Full arm circle. And last one. Perfect. Now we're going to take that right foot. You're going to bring it up. Catch it here. Knee to knee, thigh to thigh. Now engage that right glute. Try to open up that hip. Lengthen that rib cage. And release bring it up. I did a video two days ago at Lake George, which was all a quick lower body workout. My legs were shaking after. So good. Got up for a hike yesterday morning and I felt my workout. That's a good thing. And release. So 
But going on vacation isn't relaxing when you come with me, huh? <laughs> Take that right foot out. Sit back. That's what my husband says too. I think our hike was 11 miles yesterday. It was supposed to be 10. He says his limit's 10. He did awesome coming up. He's not really even that sore today, so I told him this morning, sit back. And that means that you are conditioned, and he's like, oh, I don't want to hear that. Because then he knows that means more. <laughs> uh, the more you do, the fitter you stay, the fitter you become, come center, chins in, roll up. And roll the shoulders. And that's gonna do it from Red's Meadow. That was awesome. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry for my few little flubs that I had. Elevation brain, I guess, I'm not sure. But it just shows that I'm human. <laughs> uh, it's April, I so enjoy having you here with my workouts. I feel like you're here with me. When I'm talking, I just think of you right here. All right, give me a like, give me a share, and I will see you again soon. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. We'll have more workouts together. Have a great day.